waterproofing your wool. Now, in this video, I'm gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna be testing bag balm versus pure lanolin and seeing which one will make a really cheap wool blend blanket more waterproof. So how do you go about making wool more water resistant or a wool blend in this case? You add the original oil back into it that nature had there from the sheep, lanolin. Now on the left, I have a pure 100% lanolin balm. This can be found at Walmart. It's pretty expensive, about $7. <clears throat> so it's not too bad. Now the stuff on the right is bag balm, which is a mix of lanolin and a few other things. I'm going to be testing each one of these because I have a theory that the bag balm may work. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and treat two different pieces of the wool synthetic blend with lanolin and with bag balm. And we're going to go ahead and see which one holds off water better, which one water runs off better, and maybe do a little bit of a burn test as well. The bag balm is also around $7, but there's more material in its case. So if the bag balm works as well, it'll be worth more in the end because there's more oil to run with. With the wools now treated, it's on to the burn test. Now in this case, neither one of them really outperformed the other. However, they were slower to catch fire than an untreated piece. However, once they really caught fire, they kind of just kept burning. So, bitter with the sweet there, I guess. Now this test is not an exact science, but here are the results. The bag balm actually held water better than the lanolin did. There could be a lot of reasons for this, but all I can go off is what I witnessed in the test, where the bag balm made it to 30 seconds before it started dripping, and the lanolin only made it into the teens. So I am really happy that the cheaper one showed that it can do at least as well, and perhaps this may have proved that it did even better. So now that the experiment has been completed, I am going to take my findings from my, obviously it is quite a flawed test because it's pretty basic, and I used the results to decide to use bag balm to treat this wool coat that I have made. Now this is not pure wool, this is a 55% blend and the rest is synthetics, but I made it myself as, you know, just something that I could wear whether I'm at rendezvous and possibly if it is comfortable, even when I'm out working or hunting because it might be better than a store-bought one. And with being more water resistant, it might make it worth more as well. So just gonna do a tiny little water test on the material to see how water resistant it is and see if it holds out the water at all. It took a second, but it is fairly water resistant. And even where it drips through, it seems like it, it's, it runs off pretty easily. So that's 30 seconds of water running over it before I felt a single drop. That's pretty good for a cloth. Now, wool material is not purely waterproof, but in terms of pressurized water being sprayed onto it, that's pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with the result. For comparison, denim pants made it to three seconds. Same with a regular cotton hoodie and a pair of canvas work pants made it to 20 seconds.